Welcome back. Chunky computer monitors, fax machines, VCRs, record players. Okay, so those are just some of the electronics that might be at your house just sitting around collecting dust. So if you've been looking to get rid of them, what can you do? Sunrise reporter Matt McCutcheon has all the answers for us this morning because it is a big day in recycling. Hey, Matt. Yeah, good morning, Naomi. It's America Recycles Day, something that students at Mount Vernon High School in Hancock County have been learning over the past couple of weeks as part of an impressive project, and they've been making a difference in their own lives. We have a couple of students here, all sophomores from the high school. We have Jack Hayes. Good morning to you. What's something you learned and something you changed? I have learned that it is important to recycle, and because of that, I'm going to uh, drink out of uh, a, a, a gray water bottle and not plastic water bottles anymore. Okay, so you're getting rid of the plastic you see right here and going for the Gatorade instead, and that's some of many changes students have been making, as well as Christina Lee. What have you been doing different? I am going to start taking notes on my Chromebook instead of using paper, and that saves trees, which is important. Yeah, because that looks like you would basically be taking notes in there on paper and pen, but it's actually a computer laptop. Yes. Great, all right. And for you as well, Sarah Becker, what have you been doing different? Well, we've been um, planting flowers to save the bees, because bees are um, populations going really down, and we're trying to save them. So let's go save bees. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, to people who may not know, why are bees so important? You're pretty passionate about the bees. Why are they so important? Because, like, the, um, they make the um, nectar for the flowers to grow and like our food, so like corn to grow and like, so we're killing all of them and like the colony is going down, so we need to save them. Yeah, pretty important indeed. And Lynette Huth, you are the teacher behind all this from Mount Vernon yeah. High School. Tell us about how the inspiration for all this came about. Well, um, Indiana has marked um, human impact on the environment as critical content this year. So I wanted to spend a lot of time with it on my students. And so I was excited to teach them about ways that we impact the environment and wanted to take it one step further and have them go home and talk to their parents about it so that they could work together and make lifestyle changes. And to that end, you have inspired change because right here we've got the changes. You have inspired a lot of these. Tell us about that. Light bulb. So light bulbs are a great way that you can make a difference in the environment. Just swapping out one incandescent bulb for an LED uh, would eliminate um, 2,000 pounds of carbon from going into the atmosphere. So if everyone in the United States did that, it would be like taking 7.5 million cars off the road. So I'm pretty excited about that. You're pretty passionate about light yeah. bulbs. So and we have 180 um, light bulbs have been swapped out among my 69 students. So that's pretty neat. That's a major step there toward <laughs> the goal. Thanks so much for joining. So again, you see the projects they've been working on here as a part of Mount Vernon High School. This is also going on here at Green Wave Recycling, where there's a lot of items that you recycle as well. We've got one right here. This is a monitor you can see here on the back. It dates back to 1984. You may have a couple of these at home thinking what to do with them. Well, we ask you here, Mike Hyde, what is the answer? Yes, we have uh, public drop-offs where the general public can come anytime between uh, 7 and 3, Monday through Friday, drop off all your electronics. If it plugs into the wall or runs on batteries, we accept it. Great. And the good news is you can do all of that for free, except for television sets, the big screens, the one with those tubes will cost you $20. The great news is there is no limit to that here on the city's east side. We have much more about recycling for you as a part of America Recycles Day on our website, WTHR.com. Reporting live, Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And Matt, we have a computer monitor just like that one at my mom's house, so uh, <laughs> we'll have to go grab it yeah, and bring it in. Yeah, good old Apple product. It looks just like that. I'm not even kidding. So, uh, all right, Matt, thanks. We know where to put it now.